Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Ndeya J, and today's video is a makeup look testing out new products. So these are the products that I showcase on my haul video, um, the video that is linked to the giveaway that I'm currently running. So make sure you go and watch that video so you can enter the giveaway. But anyway, I decided to test out a couple of the makeup items, um, give you guys my first impression, some of the products I have used before, so just tell you guys my honest review about them. So thank you guys so much for watching and just stay tuned for the video. So I've washed my face. Um, the first product that I'm going to use is an eye serum. So I got this um, three skin, I think it's called, serum in the glossy box. I think this was June's glossy box. So it's a Space Defense Bright Eye Lifting Gel and this is 5 millimeter, a milliliter. The full size, the one I think is 30, goes for about 100 and something pounds. But let me tell you guys, this stuff works wonders. Like, this is not how you should apply it, but this is how I like to apply it. <laughs> but um, this stuff works wonders for my dark circles and just generally giving me that you know, I just woke up but I look flawless kind of look under my eyes, so yeah. And then I'm going to use the Banish Oil um, Serum, I'd call it, on my face. And this has been helping with making my skin look generally uh, brighter, more refreshed, less tired looking, getting rid of discolorations and stuff, so I do enjoy using this and then I'm going to apply my baby lips uh, lip gloss it's like a balm all over my lips just to prep it ready for lipstick and next I'm going to go in with my eyeshadow primer so I'm just trying out the Jordana made to last eyeshadow primer saw this on Beauty Bay and I just thought why not so it has a color to it which kind of reminds me of the um, Urban Decay eyeshadow primer in Eden that I like to use but then it kind of just blends in with your skin anyway so I do like it and then I'm going to go in with my face primer and I'm using the LA Girl Pro Prep High Definition Soothing Primer and that's what it looks like it's like a silicone based type primer and I find that it just fills in my pores and gives my skin a nice smooth face. I'm gonna go ahead and set my face with powder and I'm just using the air spun and I'm pressing that product in and this technique is good especially if you've got oily skin and you know it helps to keep the oils away for a little longer so, so I've color corrected and I use the standard LA Girl Pro Concealer in Orange and now I'm going to apply my foundation. I'm going to mix um, the Urban Decay All Nighter Foundation in shade 9.75 and the Maybelline Satin Liquid um, in Golden Caramel. Now this is my favorite drugstore foundation till date. It's flawless. It's my everyday foundation but because I want to be a bit extra today, I want to look extra flawless for you guys, I'm going to mix this guy because it's a very very full coverage foundation and this is a buildable medium coverage foundation so I'm going to apply both and just mix them together. I know how to fix a heart. So now I'm going to do my brows. Um, I'm still loving using the um, Makeup Academy Brow Pencil and then filling in my brows with the Maybelline Brow Precise Fiber Filler. Now I've shown this in my last makeup video but the, the bristles on this are absolutely perfect for carving out my brows. So I'm going to do that off camera to save time and then come back to you. Right, so I literally have to do one eye so I can get an idea of what it is that I'm looking to do today. So I'm gonna do the same thing on the other eye. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna lay down my brow color and I'm gonna use the Jouer um, Springtime in Paris Matte and Shimmer Eyeshadow Palette. Now this is the first time I'm using this palette. I'm gonna use this brown shade here. 
and I'm just going to put that down as my brow color. Now the only thing I noticed about this palette is that, actually I'm going to use a mirror as well, is that there is um, quite a bit of kickback, a bit of fallout from the shadow, especially when you dip your brush into it. It does kick up a lot of um, product, but it is very pigmented, it's very cool tone. Um, even the brown shades in there, like this is supposed to be a brown shade, but on my skin it's coming off pinky, um, it's coming off cool tone. So just bear that in mind if you're interested in getting this palette, that it is more of a cool tone palette on my skin tone. Next I'm going to lay down some transition shades, and for this I'm going to use the Masquerade, no, the Masquerade palette by Juvia's Place. And I'm going to use that, I'm um, going to use some of the shades in there with a the Morphe E22 brush that I received in my um, Morphe subscription bags. So for this, I'm going to combine two shades. I'm going to use that and that, and I'm going to mix that and really, really concentrate that in the crease because I want it to be like a fully blown out um, cut crease situation. So I'm really going to go in with both colours and then that. And I'm concentrating the shades on the, on the middle part of my eye and then kind of like blending it out on the outer part and inner part of my eye. So place the product in the middle and then blend it out. And it's just because I really want to deepen my socket so it looks really, really sunken. So next, using the Morphe M411 brush, which is nice pointy um, brush. I'm going back into the Jure palette and I'm going to be using this brown shade. What I'm going to do is I'm going to apply that brown shade to the center part of my eye to just kind of deposit the color. And then I'm going to use the blending brush that I used before to spread it out and blend it like that. So I'll just show you guys what I mean. So I'm just going to take a bit of product and then dust off any excess. And then I'm going to place that in my crease like so. And then I'm going to take the same blending brush that I used before and then blend that out. So I'm only using that brush to kind of deposit the color. And then I'm using another brush to blend it out and make it seamless, make it smoother. I still want the black to show, but I want it to kind of still be blended a little bit. Next I'm going to use a concealer type of brush and it's the Morphe MB10 brush. And I'm going to use my MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot. And what I'm going to do is kind of carve out my lid space. And just neaten that so that um, the orange shade that I'm going to use will really pop out on the lid. So I'm just going to use this as a base. So what I do is I start from the inner part and I start carving that out. And like sketching out what I want to do. And then using an eyeshadow brush, I'm going to apply Cairo from the Masquerade palette by Juvia's Face, which is this gorgeous orange shade. And it's got like bits of gold and shimmer in it. I'm just going to spritz my brush with the MAC Fix Plus so that it really, really adheres to it. And I'm going to build that on my lid. Love's the cure right from the start. And then about the Masquerade palette from Juvia's Face, no doubt it's such a pigmented, pigmented, pigmented palette. It's gorgeous. Next I'm going to go in with some eyeliner and I'm using the Pixi um, Maybelline New York Master Ink Eyeliner. So with the eyeliner, I'm going to draw my wing line like normal and then I'm just going to draw a little bit just to connect the um, cut crease, just a tiny smidgen, just a tiny bit. Next I'm going to apply some glitter, so I'm going to use the Cerife Glitter. I don't know what the shade is, but it's like a sunset um, color. It has like specks of um, green in it, a bit of orange in it. It's just beautiful, yeah. And I'm going to use my, my Lit Cosmetics Claire Liquid Glitter Base to apply. There is something special Sun 
Next, I'm going to apply my concealer, and I'm going to use the LA Girl Pro Conceal in Fawn. Since your sun has set and the clouds are all misled, oh, let's go running in the rain. Oh. So my concealer is fully blended now. I'm going to use this setting powder. Now, this banana powder came in my July glossy box. And least to say, I'm very curious about it. So we're gonna test it out on camera. Okay. It's a bit light, but let's see if it doesn't leave a cast. Oh, oh. I'm gonna leave that on for a couple be a minute or so then we'll see in about 30 seconds to a minute I don't want to leave it on for too long I just feel like it's gonna leave a cast so I'm gonna dust it off first impression I don't think it's set too well I can still see my fine lines I think it's set in my crease my eye crease as opposed to the original banana powder which is kind of blends in and doesn't sit in your crease lines this one sits in my crease lines yeah i don't really like it i can see my crease under my eyes are really really creased and i'm just gonna carry on so i'm gonna use the maybelline fit me powder and i'm gonna use that to set my face and i'll try and blend under my eyes as well because i just feel like it's too light from the powder And I like this powder, it's very smooth, though it, there's a lot of kickback obviously when you use your brush, but I, I like the, the finish of the powder, it's very smooth and blends quite well. So now I'm going to contour my face, so I'm going to use the MAC Fix um, Studio Fix Powder in NW50, and I'm going to use that to just contour like usual and I like using the Studio Fix powder because it's nice and warm and it just warms up my face really well so I'm gonna finish the eyes I'm gonna use the Makeup Academy eyeliner in Snow White and um, I'm not gonna line my inner waterline I'm just going to go underneath my waterline so I can concentrate some color there And I'm going to bring it down quite low. Side by side. Till we cross the finish line. And then I'm going to use a, sh a shader brush. And I'm going to go back into the masquerade palette. And I'm going to use the same orange that I used for my eyes. I'm going to use that. And I'm also going to blend this shade right underneath. mascara and I'm going to use a Tartiste um, lash paint from Tarte and that this came in my mini um, pack Ooh, I like that mm, I like the bristles they're nice short sharp bristles no not sharp but like short so I'm just gonna cut my lashes oh I like this I like the bristles. It's like it's really, really hanging on to my lashes. Okay, right. next I'm gonna prep my lashes and I'm gonna use lashes from Ambi Rose. Now, I won this in a giveaway, and I'm gonna use the crown lashes, which look like that. They're nice, flirty, wispy type of lashes. So I'm gonna prep them and come back to you guys. Since there's no sunshine, just thundering in the sky. Oh, let's go running in the rain. Got me singing. Oh, 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 Some 
blush, I'm going to use the Juvia's Place, the Saharan Blush Volume 1 palette, which looks like this. And I'm going to use the shade, and maybe mix these two actually. So I'm going to use Toby and Neil, and apply that on my cheeks. And I was told that this palette is super pigmented, so we'll go a little at a time. Mm, so pretty. Come through, cheeks. Cheeks of life. I love a good blush. It's a lot. <laughs> it's very pigmented. Very pigmented. Very pigmented. I look rosy. Rosy. Right. So I'm going to use this illuminator. And this is the Mana Beauty Simplified Illuminator and this came in my glossy box for last month, which I think was June. Now I'm always wary with products that are liquid, especially when you've done your foundation and stuff. So I'm just going to put a little bit on my beauty blender and then dab it on my cheeks where I want the highlight to go. See if it blends in. Oh, that's pretty. Oh, she's blending. Oh, that's gorgeous. I'm going to put my powder highlight on there. That is pretty. That is pretty. Oh, that is so pretty. If you like a subtle highlight, you're going to like this. It looks natural. Natural, natural. I'm going to apply my highlight <laughs> on top. And I think I'm going to use the Jouer highlighter in tan lines because I really want that goddess like sun kissed look I'm going to do that and I'm going to apply it with a Morphe 528 brush Just going to line my lips with MAC Chestnut. And then I'm going to go over with one of the lipsticks I received in my Kiss Me bag in Hotty Toddy. Let that dry, and I'm gonna go over with a lip topper from Jouer. Tan lines and rose gold. So yeah, this is the finished look guys. I really love the way it came out. It's very flirty. It's very get yourself uh, an engagement ring, get that man to propose kind of look. 
very powerful very take control kind of gorgeousness my accessories are from my tops creations these are the earrings and this is the necklace they're all handmade pieces I'll leave a link um, down below to where you can buy lawyer tubs accessories for those of you that don't know my mom makes every single piece that you see me wear um and i buy my pieces so no funny business but anyway i would really really love if you guys support her by checking her instagram checking her facebook get yourself something gorgeous to wear um this set comes Four piece with a bracelet a necklace earrings and an actual ring so yeah make sure you check out her page um a review on this hair will either be up or coming up on my channel if it's up i'll link it up there and down below other than that thank you guys so much for watching i appreciate every single one of you and for your love and for everything that you guys are just you guys are just amazing if you haven't subscribed to my channel a subscribe button is right underneath this video so please go ahead and subscribe and i'll catch you guys in a future video bye